we're starting a little bit early today, about five minutes till five. The uh, reason we are starting a little bit early, we probably start about five minutes early on Tuesdays. It uh, does not give me much time uh, to go from, um, go from the take five to our live prayer. Tonight is our live prayer. Uh, we have some of our prayer warriors that are out sick. We pray for their, uh, we pray for them, and uh, we pray that they're 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 healthy. And um, but we will be going live at least for a little while on our live prayer tonight at seven o'clock. So join us. Our live prayer tonight is our live. There is many things to pray about. The heaviness uh, you can feel it in the air. There's a intensity. There is a tick tock. It is uh, imminent. It is happening right before our very eyes. Um, uh, I was told uh, somebody big is being whisked away as we speak. As we said before, it's getting real. It's just getting real. That's why everybody's have, feeling heavy. Have many people have said it's been heavy, spiritual attacks. Uh, it's because Satan knows and is frantic. The time is coming. I'm watching the hearings today, and if you watch it, uh, it's just absolutely amazing uh, how they double down and lie. We'll get into that today. Um, somebody very big, very big, I mean really big today. Um, we'll have more information on it too. More information about President Trump. Uh, we were trying to keep some of the President Trump stuff quiet. Um, but if you put two and two together, if you were on one of our prayer sessions last week, I believe, our prayer sessions, you would know exactly what we believe happened yesterday uh, with President Trump. All right, let's get into it. Uh, before we start, let's get in and promote Obey. Uh, this is great stuff. I did the radical j j uh, thing today. My, my, my elbows are perfect. Uh, I got the intense therapeutic gel for the need. It's the best stuff. Get your obey. This is good stuff. I'll let you in on a little secret. Something good is coming to obey too. Another something good. Uh, you can get your organic facial care, skin care <clears throat> made with organic essential oils. Go to the His Glory section, uh, our, uh, His Glory family partners. Get on there. Click on obey. Go and put His Glory in your checkout. You get 5% off your order. Uh, $45 or more. You get free shipping. This is a great Christian company. Uh, great woman of God. Uh, it helps orphans. It helps to spread the, our Bible teachings and the ministry of His glory for free. And I tell you what, it is the best product under the sun. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, good stuff. We uh, got other news, too, about your uh, orders. The 17 people that had uh, back orders um, on Bo uh, Botanico, I'm told they're being shipped. And we're going to have some good news. Some good news coming soon about that um god is good sometimes he shuts the door opens up another door and the doors are better yeah, people are looking at some things that are going on yeah this stuff has been going on with schiff and president bill clinton the the stuff about bill clinton that's coming out today about the eight-year-old this is not news this is not new this has been stuff that's been out there for a long time they threatened the the family uh, who was it? Oh, the reporter that reported this ended up dead. Uh, <laughs> that was reported by True Pundit over a year ago, maybe even longer ago. Uh, the, the, the guy at True Pundit knew the woman who was reporting this about Bill Clinton and the boy and um, was threatened, and then she ended up suicide in her, uh, I think, at her hotel room. Uh, this thing is it's intense. It's, things are moving faster, faster, faster. These people are scared. They're lying under oath. Uh, it's bad. They're doubling down. Some of them are doubling down. The, the news media is um, doubling down. If you look at CNN and you look at OAN, you're, you would think we live in two different countries because we do. The, the narrative is so different. And they're trying to suppress the truth. You got a, a former ambassador coming up here and saying that he, he doesn't believe that there was anything done in Ukraine. 
Well, it's been proven. <laughs> Ukraine officials have testified that the DNC was working for Hillary Clinton. That's an un that's disputed fact. And this guy says, no, it never happened. Joe Biden would never let that happen to his son. I know Joe Biden for 34 years. It would never happen. Dude. Pierce Weitzer reported that years ago. It's true. $83,000 a month. And yet Lieutenant Colonel Venman never heard of Burisma and lied? Oh, these people. And Adam Schiff doesn't care. He's, he, gets, uh, he gets immunity, so he can lie all he wants. He's trying to stop <laughs> Devin Nunez. Devin Nunez is brilliant, by the way. Devin Nunez set up Adam Schiff and set up that Lieutenant Colonel. To, the Lieutenant Colonel lied under oath twice, and it was Devin Nunez knew the answer to the question, and he knew that the Lieutenant Colonel would lie about it, and he did do that. Oh boy, Devin Nunes knows how to play the game. Hang on. Uh, hang on. It's about to get real. It's about to get real. We're going to talk more about Vindeman. But we got to lighten the mood because the intensity's hot. I mean, real hot. <laughs> I, I can only laugh because my family's getting attacked. I've been getting attacked. Everybody around his glory is being attacked. Our partners are being attacked. All you can do is stick together and trust that God is ready to be a breakthrough. Because if you're, if you're getting attacked, you know you're doing something right. You know you're doing something right. God's got it, right? All right, let's start with a little sense of humor. Speaking of God, I've mentioned that if you follow our Bible studies, you know this. Because I've said this many times. God, the Most High God, Elohim, who sits in the heavens, He has the best sense of humor on the face of the earth because He created the heavens and the earth. He has literally made me laugh out loud at least three or four times. God's sense of humor is absolutely incredible. That's why the more you get to know him, the more you go into your quiet place. I'm trying to find a quiet place in the studio. I just don't have that same, uh, I don't have that same intimacy yet here in the studio that I did in the, in the, in the, uh, uh, the His Glory Ministry office. I gotta find that. So we're, we're trying to work on this. We've got wires everywhere. Uh, but we'll get there. We'll get there. One, one, one day at a time, right? One day at a time. So let's start with a little humor. Senator Kennedy. <laughs> the, the guy is funny. This is funny. Senator Kennedy said, three things that don't hang themselves. So this is Senator Kennedy. You remember his southern, his southern uh, humor. He's, he's funny. The guy went to Oxford, too. Not, you think he was some kind of uh, just kick around. Not, not very intelligent. But get, you got to go to Oxford. You're pretty, you're pretty intelligent. So Senator Kennedy of Mississippi says there's three things that don't hang themselves. So he says there's three things that don't hang themselves. <clears throat> Christmas ornaments don't hang themselves. Drywall doesn't hang themselves. And Jeffrey Epstein didn't hang himself. <laughs> New York, Hillary Clinton was grounded at New York City Airport and the next day unscheduled flight is heading for the spot. So that's what somebody said. Hmm. That's funny, though, with Senator Kennedy. We can't tell you who it is, um, but it's big. Just trust, 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 trust. Justice, uh, Justice De uh, OIS, OIG Department uh, today, Inspector Horace discussed uh, today about the report of the FBI uh, movements of the, o uh, of the report that's about ready. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to the report. Um, we, we tweeted this out, I'm not sure if we said this yesterday, but we tweeted out that he is uh, go, set to testify to the Senate committee on December 11th about the OIG report. Well, if he's got to testify on the 11th, that means from here to the 11th, you can have the imminent drop. Uh, you know it's getting closer to by Bill Barr. Bill Barr yesterday went on the offensive. He doesn't care. He knows where the bodies are buried and literally going to arrest him. Uh, you also had uh, the, the D Department of Justice uh, was threatened by a, uh, a Obama uh, a Obama judge saying you have to by Ju uh, November fifteenth prosecute uh, Andrew McCabe or let it go. Department of Justice says no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. So you got Andrew McCabe sitting in the wind, and we told we were told he's singing like a, he's singing like a canary. As Alan Dershowitz would say, um, <laughs> Swalwell. <laughs> That's funny. That's the only thing that he can do well, and he did it on live TV. <laughs> oh, that guy's a clown show. Oh, oh. 
I heard a story about his law degree too. Um, uh, I heard a story about his law degree. He didn't get his law degree. So he took the test for him. I've heard that has happened a lot. And many in Congress that have their law degree never even took the bar exam. They had somebody take it for them. You wonder somebody how they could be that way. Um, we'll explain about President Trump. It has to tie into um, our b b prayer session last week. We specifically prayed about food. So we'll talk about that. Um, and we'll tell you just as much as we know. Uh, we'll, we, we'll, we'll get to that part. So um, the OIG is about ready to drop a, a report of report that the Vindman offered a Ukrainian defensive job. This guy's in a lot of trouble with the military. This guy's in a lot of trouble for... Uh, he lied under oath. He's done much, much more uh, leaking. He got caught leaking. Uh, what he did to Devin Nunes today, he said, Mr. And he's, he's, he's corrected Devin Nunes and he says, you call me Lieutenant Colonel. That's one thing that I do not... I, I can't stand. Um is when they when they force themselves on on you and make you call them a title you know anybody that has humility wouldn't do that um obama officials uh, left uh, notes in the aides offices to president trump's incoming crew that you will fail remember the story when um george w bush left the uh left the white house and obama came in they took all the w's off the keyboards just as a kind of a little joke uh, well, Obama officials put you will fail notes in there, in the desk. Oh, do you think they tried to get him to fail? Devin Nunes nailed fin Vinman on uh, perjury uh, on the NSC, N NSA uh, computers. He knew exactly what he said, and he is going to be held accountable to this. Uh, the current colonel, we said, said will you, you will address me as lieutenant colonel. And Devin Nunez handled it really, really well. I, I wouldn't have handled that well. I would have said, "Excuse me, I, I'm, I'm, I, this is intelligence community. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to address you as Mister." But he said, "Okay, Lieutenant Colonel," and and went on. Devin Nunez is a, is a cool customer, um, but this guy continued to lie. And then Adam Schiff butted in uh, to not get him to answer a question because they want to protect the whistleblower. And they said, well, Vindman and uh, Adam Schiff claim they don't know who the whistleblower is. So if he answers who the other guy you just talked to, why would that be upsetting? Because you both said you don't know who the whistleblower is. So let him answer the question. Who is the guy? Who's the other person you talked to? But yet you don't know who the whistleblower is? <sighs> oh, that's amazing. Uh, this has just been orchestrated absolutely perfect. Jordan, Jim Jordan, um, <laughs> he answered this brilliantly in his cross-examination. Cross you never thought the president was going to release the transcripts. Everything went to part when he released the transcripts. You didn't think he'd release the transcripts. He did. This is what he said. Uh, this is just an absolute clown show. Uh, but what do you expect? And the sad news is, Many are calling, uh, many will see this and they'll report the same narrative uh, that the fake news, criminal news uh, media uh, is, is, is brainwashing people. What the real truth is, they're going to come back and say, well, there's no, there's, no, there's no truth to it. There's no truth to it. Uh, yes, there is. You see, um, you see that, uh, uh, that John Solomon is, is now going to look at suing. He's had enough. They've attacked John Solomon and he is going to sue. It's just absolutely fascinating. Um, the two jailers working uh, in the Epstein were charged today uh, in the Epstein case. Nothing to see here. Chris Wallace, Neil Cavuto, putts. Putts one and putts two. Fox News is just on a free fall. Chris Wallace, Neil Cavuto. You know what's happening is everything is, is being drawn right down the line. You used to think these people that were, they were, they were so-called journalists or they would like to sh shoot straight as an arrow. Well, now you're seeing the division. It is absolutely spread 
to each side. I'm not saying one side is good or the other, but you see the difference. It's, it's black and white. It is absolutely black and white. There is no hiding in the middle behind false premises now. That Everybody is spreading to their corner. And that's exactly what needed to happen. That's part of red pilling. That's part of waking people up. People are waking up. That's why you have to move at the pace they're moving. Because the regular American people were not there yet. Yeah, Juan Williams too. He's starting to lo learn a little bit. He, um, he knows when to shut. Uh, I shouldn't say that. I, I just saw him a little bit last night. And um, those three are just absolutely the three putts amigos. Putts one, putts two, putts three. Um, speaking of putzes and fake news, CNN, ABC, Criminal News Network. Anybody see today that Disney Plus was launched just a couple days ago? They were already hacked. So if you had Disney Plus, they've, they've already hacked many, uh, thousands and thousands of accounts, holding people ransom for their accounts, taking their credit card information. Couldn't have happened to a nicer company, could it? You know, Ver, I think Verizon's given away... Um, Mike Wallace's father was a good reporter. He actually went to the University of Michigan. Um, doesn't make somebody going to the University of Michigan good. Uh, there's a lot of people that go to the University of Michigan and are bad Oreos too. Um, Horowitz, December 11th, Judi Judiciary Committee, we said earlier, uh, watch for false flags and watch for funerals. Funerals and false flags. We're on funeral and false flag alert. We know between now and December 11th, um, they're coming. And you can see they've edged it up. Bar, Horowitz, it's ready to go any day. And you can just feel the intensity. Like we started with, we can feel the intensity. The intensity is so important. That's why we have to continue to pray and pray and pray and pray. We're at a point. It's not a tipping point anymore because light is going to win. But it is a major movement to start taking... There's nothing they can do to stop what's coming. Nothing they can do. But it has to be done um, in a slow, organized manner. Um, somebody's in... Somebody... Frontiers in Big Trouble, Chapter 12. There's a certain food company that's going bankrupt. Anybody know who the food company is going bankrupt? There's a scandal behind this food company. And it ties to what we've said before. Let it play out. We're not going to get in trouble. I saw, when I got a package coming in uh, from NBC Universal Studios, I don't know anybody from NBC Universal Studios, but I guess an executive at NBC shipped me some, some stuff uh, that was for his glory, uh, not anything to do with NBC, uh, but it came through NBC Studios. When I saw that package show up coming from NBC Studios, I'm thinking, oh no, what is the deep state after? What are they coming after me? They want to arrest me? Is there, is there something in the, in the package? I'm only half kidding. Just like when I said, you know, watch your six if there's a sniper out there. I was half kidding. You know, people have always told me to watch my back, but we're covered. So I'm half kidding for those who are saying, do you really think there's a sniper out there? God's got it. No, I don't think there's a sniper out there. But nothing would surprise me either. Um, President Trump, many people are asking about this. Um, President Trump, is President Trump speaking anywhere tonight? Or anybody know if he's um, speaking anywhere? Um, we are going to be on a prayer call at 7 o'clock. So it, um, I don't know how many prayer warriors will be with us at 7 o'clock. A lot of prayer warriors have got hit hard this last week. You know it's bad. And intense when the prayer warriors start getting attacked. <laughs> because you can't pray any, any harder than they can. I got to learn from them. They're amazing. Uh, we got to continue to give it to the Lord. We got breakthrough. Breakthrough's coming. POTUS set to, re people have been asking about this. POTUS is about ready to release uh, the, the, uh, the sexual predators in Congress list. Remember the hidden list of money that Congress paid off for sexual harassment? The, the slush fund, he's ready, he didn't forget about it, he's ready to release the names. I would be very worried. If you have anything to do with Epstein, I'd be very worried. <laughs> Somebody's talking about the small well. Uh, yeah, it's funny. His glory. Um, your donations to his glory are the lifeblood of our ministry. Uh, you're right under the donate section here on www.hisglory.me. 
uh, one time uh, custom donation uh, God bless you uh, and also if there is uh, uh, if you want to do a reoccurring there's that option there too or if you want to send a check or money order it is what sustains the ministry so that we can get the, the, the message of Jesus Christ out to the world most people think that we, we come in and do a take five but we have over 1500 Bible studies already done the entire New Testament 70% uh, of the Old Testament tomorrow I will get back into the book of Ezekiel and then Thursday or Friday, one of the two, I will continue in the book of Mark. I got to get back to two days a week, getting into the Bible, at least giving a Bible study, even though we have so many of them. Um, and then uh, we will be having guests coming on. We're ramping it up. You're going to have the doctor come on. We've got some changes with the doctor, but once we get we, good stuff's coming, we got good news coming on um, several fronts. Uh, and what are we else? We got somebody coming on. Oh, we have uh, we we have uh, the, the the creator of Veggie Tales, and we're getting the Chosen's coming back too. The Chosen because I was just reached by uh, their top guy today. He wants to have a call, so I'm assuming it's about launching of the Chosen. So your donations to His glory, God bless you. They are so important to us. Uh, no donation is, 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 is small. Uh, even little as $5.55 a month that is so important. Um, it's not General Mills. It's not General Mills. It's uh, once you, Robert Clark will come back on too. I gotta, I gotta reach out to Robert Clark. Robert is in um, Trinidad right now. Uh, what we wanted to do before we launched uh, uh, getting people on is we wanted to be able to get the split screen uh, fixed and know how to do that so that when we have a guest on, we don't have to have them on a big TV, that it's done on a split screen so that it's, 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 it's professional. Uh, so we figured that out. So we are ready to start bringing them in. Um, some of the stuff we'll wait on until uh, the, the app is done. <laughs> Infrared of Swalwell. <laughs> Trump rally in Georgia tonight. I thought so. Yeah, pray for him. Pray for him. It's not Kraut. It's not Heinz. Oh, once you find out who this company is, it's going to open up one of the largest scandals of all time. Oh, it's big. It is big. <laughs> oh, my gosh. These people are evil. They're absolutely evil. They thought they can contaminate our food system. All right, uh, DOJ dismisses Peter Strzok. This is another way, reason you know that things are close. The DOJ today dismissed Peter Strzok's charges that he, the, they violated his First and the Fifth Amendment rights. Ruh oh, here it comes. DOJ also, uh, we said it earlier, <coughs> uh, did not, was not forced to make a move by November 15th when it came to Andrew McCabe under the force of a judge. And they said, we will investigate the way we want to investigate. And you guys are hitting every, every company under the sun, and it's not them. It's uh, once this company comes out and somebody does a little digging, it's going to be huge because it's much bigger than that company. It ties into the government. It ties into insurance. It is absolutely huge. Uh, I was going to give a hint, but I'm, I will get in trouble. I'll get sued. And I don't want to get sued. I'll probably get sued anyway. Um, I didn't say the name, though. If you say it, if somebody says it, I'll touch my left, my left ear. This is my left ear? Yeah, my left ear. All right. Uh, Barr, strong speech yesterday. Here it comes. He, he just went out and just blasted away, Bill Barr did. You know Bill Barr, Honey Badger. Honey Badger, that's his nickname, Honey Badger. Get ready for the honey, the gold back. Uh, President Trump, as we said yesterday, met with the Fed Reserve uh, in a meeting, uh, Chairman Powell. Um, there was a name in every company under the... Uh, not Hormel. Not Hormel. Um, actually, Elisa works for Hormel. Uh, Elisa uh, with his glory. We've got some good news about Elisa and Allison, too. They're going to be doing a... Uh, they're going to be doing a, uh, a, a Christmas uh, starting December 1st. I won't tell you, but they're, they're going to give, be giving a message. I love it. You'll see it from Allison and Elisa. Uh, so Barr, Barr came out strong yesterday. <clears throat> uh, you know it's coming in his ways. He just he didn't, he didn't pull any, any punches. Um, not Kraft, but I don't trust, I don't trust Robert Kraft. Uh, I'll say that. 
Um, Robert Kraft is playing two sides of the fence. Um, <laughs> All right, the, the report on President Trump yesterday about poison, about him going to, uh, going to uh, Walter Reed about poison. We were given information uh, several weeks ago about um, President Trump uh, making sure that President Trump's food source is safe. We got that from Intel, and we got that from uh, spiritual discernment from some spiritual warriors that got prophetic words about do not. And I'm sure that the prayer, the prayer warriors prayed about this last month or last Tuesday. Um, to make sure that he has somebody checking the food, make sure that he's getting a Diet Coke and the cans open. Uh, speaking of Diet Coke, I asked a question. Could I, could, I, could I drink Diet Coke if I used the Eden water? So if I got a, a, a Diet Coke machine and I fed the Eden water into the syrup, could I drink maybe two a day instead of one a day? Actually, I haven't had a single Diet Coke today. Um, but let's get back to the most serious thing. That is uh, President Trump. Um, so we had spiritual and intel about watching his food, about a potential poisoning of the president. Have a food taster. It's no, no secret that he, he has a food taster. Um, uh, many presidents have had food tasters in the past. Usually it's the chef uh, that, ta that tests the food. There is uh, no diet drinks. There is uh, several people who test. The report is this, that the food tester uh, got sick, violently sick, and was taken to Walter Reed Hospital. And then the president went there for uh, just to be sure. And because they have some toxins in the system that you can't identify uh, f for a long time. If you're drinking a Diet Coke right now, uh, that's one thing I will do when I, if and when I go to the White House is I'm going to hit the red button so they bring me a Diet Coke and the president and I will have a Diet Coke. I know God's got President Trump's back. Um, so that was a report that a, one of the testers went in and uh, was violently sick. Um, I'm not doing much Diet Coke. Uh, it takes 32 glasses of Eden water to balance one Diet Coke. Yeah, I think I heard that. It's not worth it, is it? Uh, 32 glasses, that's a lot. That's a lot. I drink about eight of these a day. So that's four day, that means four days of drinking water from one Diet Coke. Now that just spoiled my day. I can't have one little secret pleasure. I got two secret pleasures. Uh, it's the Hershey's classic almond chocolate bars that you can only get at Christmas time. And when I buy them for Christmas gifts, I tell my wife to go hide them, get them out of the house. I don't even want to know where they're at because that's the only thing that I will get into. Um, so back, the, the president did go to um, Walter Reed. We were told he went there just for uh, just for precautions, that he, they did not uh, uh, find anything in his in, in his bloodstream. But I tell you, the, some of these things you don't know. I don't know. I heard the testers okay; they got it in time. But what concerns me about that, um, I'm allowed. Okay. Uh, what concerns me about that is I am a survivor of botulism, and that was one of the things that uh, back in 2010. Uh, eight, uh, Homeland Security said botulism toxin is the biggest threat uh, to our uh, from terrorists that Homeland Security is worried about. If you get botulism toxin through a food source into the United States of America on a mass, because you don't understand botulism toxin for days later, and at that time nobody knew what botulism toxin was. I ate of the toxin. The exact date of the day I ingested the toxin was 777, July 7th, on the seventh day of year 07. And it took six days to Friday the 13th, literally, before they put a breathing tube in me. Uh, and if I wouldn't have been near the Cleveland Clinic, of the world-renowned Cleveland Clinic, I would not be here today. Uh, there was others that, that, that actually died. Uh, because of this. You don't know. Now they know because they're looking for it. But there's other toxins they can put in the food source. And <sighs> you drink Diet Coke every day. So you have to be careful and pray for the president. You know, I'm not so worried about it because I have an uncle. My uncle who will be coming here for um, my uncle will be coming here for Thanksgiving. He's a medical doctor. He got his doctorate at the University of Michigan. 
He is one smart doctor when it comes to fixing things. He knows everything about medicine. He drinks Diet Coke. He, <laughs> he's always got Diet Coke in his hand. I said, you know, you're a doctor. And it's okay to drink Diet Coke? <laughs> Reese's Cups. Don's is Reese's Cups. That macaroni bear gets me with Reese's Cups too. Reese's Cups and the, the Hershey's Classics are the only thing that gets me. Everything else, eh, not so much. Um, all right, so we'll get off the Diet Coke. Uh, barbaric, the Babonic Plague is breaking out in Europe. Biblical proportions. Bible coming alive again. Uh, we do have uh, lots of Bible stuff going on to the, right before our very eyes. Uh, the bubonic plague is making its way back through Europe. Uh, there was a case of um, leprosy in the United States. I believe it was in Oregon. Uh, a lot of these things are self-inflicted on purpose to re re recreate this. Remember we were telling you a story, a true story, about the rats in New York City. They found a rat. Um, if I told you what I ate, that would tell you, if I told you what I ate, to get the botulism, that would open up the door to what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, you can't make this stuff up. Oh my gosh. Oh. So the rats in um, New York City, the CDC found 44, 44, 44, they said deadly diseases inside a rat that they don't know, they don't have an answer for. Wow, lots of plagues. Isn't that what Jesus said in Matthew 24? Um, yeah, Monsanto's cooked in a squat. Everything we, we've been saying about the uh, insurance companies, pharmaceutical companies, it's all, coming, it's all coming true. There's major pharmaceutical companies that have not come out yet that are coming out. And we told you one of the uh, insurance companies is the mother of all uh, scandals. Uh, I don't know about the rats in Baltimore. The only one I know is that they, I'm assuming they're the same, but in, they did it in New York City is the report I saw. Iran is violating uh, uh, their, 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 their people. More people in Iran are dying. Uh, it's getting worse in Iran. Uh, the pushback, there's a revolution going in Iran. Uh, we are supporting them through the Iran res uh, uh, um, uh, through the resistance of Iran. Uh, Iran is also going after Israel. There was four rocket attacks in the Golan Heights area on Israel this morning. Israel did have sorties go over Damascus. Remember, Damascus is where they bring in uh, Damascus is where they bring in the the weaponry to go up to Hamas and to Gaza in the West Bank. Literally, fall, uh, fulfilling Psalm 83. Um, somebody asked about Psalm 83. In Psalm 83, there is no. Um, Psalm 83, there is no walls. Ezekiel 38 and 39, there's walls. Uh, the walls are down. So you can get the difference in our study. But with this Psalm 83 and Isaiah 17 are literally at the doorstep. Isaiah 17 could happen at any, any time. Because underneath the city of Damascus, that is why Israel is bombing Damascus so much, uh, is underneath the city of Damascus, not only do they sm uh, smuggle in weaponry, to go to Hezbollah and Hamas and the Gaza Strip and the West Bank, uh, which President Trump just said uh, Judea and uh, Samaria are now, um, uh, not, it's not illegal settlements for Israel, uh, which gives a good sign to uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. Today, by, by the way, today, uh, I think by midnight tomorrow, midnight on Wednesday, Israel time, uh, Benny Gantz has until to, to form a government. So if you can't form a government by midnight I Israel time tomorrow, they're going to have to go to an election. So many things going around Israel. Remember in the end days, Israel is the center. Is the center. Um, uh, 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 Hormel's not going bankrupt. It's not Hormel. Um, but God's got a sense of humor with Hormel. Matter of fact, Hormel, the, the, we told you Lisa works for Hormel. Uh, for the estate of, of Hormel. And if you are on our website, the lion on the, I think it's on the donation page, on the front page, the lion, the, the drawing, that is actually Tom Hormel. He is the founder of Hormel. He, he, that is his famous painting that sold for $10 million. We're the only ones that I know of in the United States or anywhere 
that have the rights to Tom Hormel's painting on our website. That's pretty cool. And Hormel's good. Nothing bad about Hormel. <laughs> Eminent surprise tweet. Yes, if, it's, if, if I tell you, it's not a surprise anymore. Just let it, let it play out and God's got it. So pray for Israel. Um, Damascus, uh, also underneath the city of Damascus is uh, where they keep their, their, new, or their uh, biological weapons. So you can see many scenarios where in one day or by morning, Damascus shall be no more. That's never happened in the history of the world. All right, so with all this stuff going on in life, you got to get your Beamer. I got my Beamer going today. Um, it's cold over in the ministry office. I had to turn the fire on. Uh, I'm used to, I have to go across, the, go across all the way over now. I almost need a, 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 a pickup. Everybody's naming every company. Nobody's named the company. I don't think so. Yeah. I better not confirm that because I'll get in trouble. But you watch. This is going to be a scandal of biblical proportions. I mean, well, all the 17 scandals are big, but this one is really bad. Uh, really bad because this ties to the insurance. It ties to, the, it, it, uh, to many uh, portions of the government. Uh, this this has to tie to. Uh, it's got to be tied to a lot of these seventeen scandals. Um, it just tells you what our our, our our government has done, and I can't say anything more. I got to let it play out. Vengeance is of the Lord, and I promise when this all comes out, not to get giddy, because vengeance is of the Lord. We pray that they repent. Um, but some people, uh, some people paid a very, very high price for what these corrupt people have done in the cover-up. Anyway, the Beamer. Beamer, get your blood flowing. Got to get on your Beamer. Get your Beamer. Many people are saying uh, uh, great uh, testimonies on your Beamer. If you've got testimonies on your Beamer, send them to us. Uh, we love to see the, the testimonies. Uh, maybe. I can't say. Um, <laughs> uh, our bodies are electric and our movement causes the pumps the services are capillaries to function at the cellular level as humans we don't move so that the pumps don't pump what God designed to do so we got to get the blood remember God says it's all about the blood and the water when they when they when they when they, Jesus the blood and the water came out so the blood is life blood is life and we got to get our blood moving the right way so that we feel healthy immediately when I got on the beamer today I felt it go right over my sinuses again, and I felt it go right over the areas that need healing. Um, I did something to my a little tweak of my ankle, nothing bad, but I felt it. It just it knows where to go, and it makes you feel good. So get your Beamer. It's worth it. It's expensive, yeah, but it's worth it. <clears throat> you can't put a money on your pri a price on on your health. You just can't, you can't trust me. When I was sitting in the ICU. On life support for two months well, on a breathing machine do you think it does it matters what kind of car you have in your garage do you think it matters what kind of house you have do you think it matters any of this stuff <laughs> there'll be beamers just some people put them on credit card there's payment plans too I I put it on a credit card I just said you know what I it, I, it took me one time and I, I knew Trudy uh, before this, and I did one time immediately fell it, and I said, she met me in um, Texas. Uh, she she followed us to, to Texas, and I said, here we go. Just I gotta get it, got it. Largest milk company declared bankruptcy. We might have to do another wild card this week. Everybody up for another wild card? People like the wild cards better than me just telling you the news. Um, we do we do Q&A on Friday. We do wild cards. Um, um, you may have figured out how you can get your Eden Water soon. Eden Water is good stuff too. My dogs, uh, you love your Beamer, all right? Love your I love my Beamer. I love the Eden Water. Um, good stuff. All right. So this 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 is this is humor here. Um, so when I first heard about this, I was like. This is insane. There are vegans, vegans suing Burger King, okay? Vegans. Vegans sue Burger King because the impossible burger, because it's impossible to have any meat in the burger, 
People love this. My wife was telling me about somebody she knew or we know of in our family. And they were talking, raving about Burger King's Impossible Burger. And I said, what is an Impossible Burger? Burger? Impossible Burger means there's no, there's no meat in it. It's a, veg, a veggie. So the vegans are suing because they make the, the Impossible Burger on the same grill as the meat. And they think the meat's coming over on there. You can't make this stuff up. And then there was a, um, there was, this was, we hope a mistake. Uh, Domino's sent a pizza out with a piece of bacon uh, that was left over uh, to a Muslim house. And the Muslims are, are suing Domino's because there was bacon, or a piece of bacon on their, on their pizza. Now, I don't think uh, Domino's would do that on purpose because that's not really really good for uh, business if you do that um, but mistakes do make sometimes mistakes are not mistakes though sometimes mistakes are not mistakes um, so who's the who's the bankruptcy Dean Foods um, interesting interesting how are we doing on time 41 minutes uh, Epstein uh, the report we also earlier we tweeted this out about Somebody mentioned it about um, Bill Clinton, the eight-year-old boy um, uh, that came out. That was that was first reported by uh, True Pundit a year ago, and um, it was first reported by True Pundit a year ago, and uh, the the reporter ended up dead on this story. Uh, he does have the information on this, so I haven't been able to dig deep into this yet. Uh, but True Pundit has the information. It's going to be fascinating, fascinating, fascinating how this plays out. So this is not a new story. Epstein uh, victim saying there's cameras set up in his bathrooms. Yeah, there's cameras set up in his bathrooms, but there's cameras set up everywhere. They have pictures of everything, have videos of everything, and the, everything was taped. Everything was taped. Uh, just absolutely, just absolutely horribly sick. Um, having a little problem with our His Glory TV here. Yeah, we're, we've got computers completely froze up. Uh, so there's a tax. There's definitely a tax going on. Let's see if we can refresh. All right, I, somehow they've attacked my computer. Um, it looks like we're still going live. Um, it refreshed. It's doing some wild things. You can have an impost burger in microwave, we were asked. Video on the Patriot Hour today. Honey, yet? Not yet. No garlic, onions, milk products, beans, sugar, wheat. Five by five here. Um, all right, I think we're back live. It must be just an attack on my computer. Uh, that's crazy, absolutely crazy. So Epstein cameras uh, in his bathrooms and cameras throughout everywhere. Everything was taped, they have everything. Um, people are worried about some of these people talking. They got it all. Jeff Sessions was on this a year ago in advance. Uh, there's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Doesn't matter what they think uh, he had on him. They already gave up all the videos, the tapes, the documents, they got it all. And it's gonna be ugly, that's why they are petrified with the Epstein and Nexon coming out and it's coming out because there are a lot of big names that are going to go down including that guy right there that I'm staring at Hotel California Standard Hotel if you remember we were down there in, Ju in um, June we were down there in June uh, it was the most demonic uh, place uh, one of the most demonic places I've ever felt. The spirit of oppression was around the Standard Hotel. People are walking around. They, they felt and looked like zombies. This man came out of the Hotel Standard right at me, and he looked like he was part devil. And I just prayed. And we all prayed. We prayed over the Standard Hotel. And once we got out of that area, L.A., and got into Orange County on our way to San Clemente, uh, blessings came. Um, the sun came out. There was one period where the sun shined right on the Standard Hotel, right up on the up down, upside down um, uh, symbol, because symbols is their downfall. Symbol is everything. 
Um, they're coming. They're coming. They got it all. Uh, Ross, Ross Perot. Ross Perot died today at the age of 89. It seems like Ross Perot was older than that. It seems, it seems like he was old when he ran for president. And that was, what, 30 years ago? My, time, time flies. All right. Um, uh, you, you never understood Hotel California. I've been telling people about Hotel California. Go look at the lyrics of the song. Go look at the lyrics of the song. Um, you know what's also frightening is that the, 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 watch out for the deep fake videos that they're, you're coming out. You read the you read the lyrics of the Hotel California. They, they just they, they put it right out there. And I can't tell you how many times I've gotten a car and Hotel California would come on. It shows up on my my iPhone or my iPad today. This tells you that they're watching us, good and bad. They're watching us. I my wife was going to the supermarket today. And she said, do you need anything? I said, yes, I need some deodorant. I'm out of deodorant. I don't have any deodorant left. She goes, what kind? I said, I don't care. Get the cheap stuff. I, I don't care. And I come back to my computer, and out of nowhere, I get an ad for deodorant. I've never seen an ad for de deodorant before in my whole lifetime. They're listening. They're listening. It's not a coincidence. Um... Yeah, it's what it's all about. We're here to seek, uh, to seek the loss. That's what this is all about. Um, that's why we have to pray. We pray that we know God's got it. We know God is going to give a blessing back <coughs> to His people, and um, we just have to trust Him in the timing. Uh, his timing is always right. And get your His Glory gear too. This is the new His Glory shirt. Uh, my wife is working on some more His Glory products. Uh, with our Christian company. Uh, so you'll see some really cool stuff come out here. You can get that under the merchandise section of His Glory. Um, so get your His Glory gear. Send us your His Glory gear. And yeah, they are listening. Yeah. But I people ask me, are you worried about it? I said no, because um, the, 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 the trains left the station. They're so far past that they're not going to worry about a little peon uh, 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 like uh, me. Is there any in new intel on JFK Jr.? Yes, I was given, it's funny that you said that. I was given intel on JFK Jr. yesterday. And I think my seven sources have finally got me convinced that it's true. A very compelling information I was given yesterday. Very compelling. I don't doubt the seven people that have said it to me. Every one of them. And they don't know each other. All swear. One knew them. One knew him and swears up, swears on their life that he, he is alive. And I was always the skeptical, like, yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. That's just so far out there. I can't put my mind around that. Uh, until yesterday, I was given some in, in, information um, that I, I believe it's true. I believe it's true. If it's, it, I believe it's true. And if it's not true, it is the greatest. It is the greatest uh, move I've ever seen to make it look like it's true. So, you know, it is, you, seeing is believing, but faith is, is, is trusting in God. We don't trust in JFK Jr. We, we, we trust in God. I'm told that there are Trump uh, JFK Jr. 2020 hats out there. Uh, somebody actually showed me a picture of one. Um, where can you share the, when can you share the JFK Jr. intel? Uh, when he shows up, I would say, because uh, I'm not going to say anything about it until he shows up. Um, the same way with the reset. I'm more sure about the reset than I am about JFK Jr. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I will bet the farm on the reset because uh, I know that for a fact. Um, yeah, Grandpa Joe, bad Oreo. Yep. They uh, they broke off the they broke off the um, the curse of the family. Uh, actually, John John Kennedy did, and uh, JFK Jr. That was part of the intel I got is why JFK Jr. did what he did and how he did it, how he pulled it off, and who he trusted to pull this off. And it was quite amazing. Um, remember this this because people always say, well, conspiracy. They never did find a body. And if you're Irish Catholic, like the Kennedys are. Um, you, you 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 don't you don't you don't cremate and go out uh, cremate and go out to sea. That that doesn't even pass the smell test. And we know for a fact, unequivocal unequivocal fact, he was targeted 
Um, there are J Trump and JFK Jr. shirts on Amazon. Um, still 40-some get the kill box. No, I'm told that's higher. It's higher. Um, it's probably double of that now because our, the indictments went way, way up. Uh, explain mortgage fraud and who is affected. Anybody who has had a mortgage uh, in the last 20 or 30 years has been affected. No, nah, I shouldn't say that. Uh, by a major bank, uh, major bank. Because there are some credit unions that did not do that. They, it's, it's fraud. Um, that may be part of the first reset, who knows? Yeah, she did, she did. <laughs> she may think she saw a ghost. Uh, was George W. Bush as bad as his father and his grandfather? Nobody's that bad. George H. W. Bush may be one of the worst that ever that we know of, but his father was worse. I think that actually it is in the Thirteen Bloodlines. I believe it's in uh, Fritz Springmeyer's Prescott Bush what he did in uh, nine eleven or not nine eleven, but what he did in. Um, uh, with Nazi Germany, it just, it's sickening. Everything you ever thought about in history, everything's changed. It's not the truth. 9-11 uh, under George W. Yeah, 9-11. Um, remember, what, remember what President Trump said the day of 9-11? They asked him, and there's a video that you can see of him. They said, do you, do you believe that these, these, these planes brought this tower down? That's not me saying this. Is this is... This is Donald Trump before he was president. He said, "There's no way the planes could could bring that down." He go, they go, "Well, what do you mean?" He goes, "I build buildings. I was just with engineers on the on, on in in the World Trade Center, and they um, uh, they said there was no way it could happen that way." So, isn't it uh, amazing that President Trump, before he was president, knew about things before they happened? It's just it's wild. It's almost like he had a source. Maybe he has a source. Uh, mere system fraudulent mortgages across the system, yeah. And it's even worse. In 2011, <clears throat> the mortgage fraud system went under Sharia law. These people are wicked. But it's going to be a good day when the mortgage, mortgage reset comes. It's going to be a good day for the reset in general. Uh, Wells Fargo 800 number was down all day yesterday. Yeah, these, these, these people are evil. Wells Fargo, I had that, that's who I had my mortgage from. I don't have a mortgage now, but my, house, my other house, uh, before I got into this house, we couldn't get, we bought this house in, the, in, the, in the, the cause of the mortgage crisis. Couldn't give away my other house, so I had to, we had to rent it out. And I had to deal with Wells Fargo for years. And there, you asked my wife. Every month I had to deal with Wells Fargo. They are the most incompetent company on the face of the earth. When this whole mortgage reset comes, again, I can't, I can't, I can't look in glee, but some, some companies deserve it more than others. Wells Fargo, man. Oof. Wells Fargo. But although that pain may turn into a blessing. Remember, three times principal. I was told the other day it is still three times principal. So that'd be a nice little nugget um, to get mini beamers. Remember when this blessing comes in, it's to go out. We don't keep it and buy another house. We don't keep it and buy a, you know, a, a sports car. Um, we do it to spread the glory. It doesn't mean you can't do something nice for yourself, uh, but God wants you to get, go out and use it for his purpose and his glory. That's why the reset's coming so that we can go out and get this billion, dollar, uh, billion person harvest. That's why he's doing it. It's all uh, dark, to, uh, dark to light. Um, praying Tennessee is a good place. My dad lives in Tennessee. When my wife and I looked at Tennessee at one time. We looked at Dallas area at one time. But God wanted us in Ohio. So we go where God wants us to go. <coughs> so we trust in him. All right, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, we're at the 54-minute mark. Um, join us at 7 o'clock Eastern for the prayer. Uh, we pray for our president, especially pray for our president. 
He's had too many close calls. When you have this many close calls, um, Beamer's for everyone. Yep. You visit Crossville? That's where he's from. Crossville. I'm, I'm, I'm told I'm not supposed to say that. Um, small world. Uh, I heard there's some bad Oreos in, in Crossville. I'm going to have to ask him about that. Uh, I was told not to say that. But, you know, sometimes I slip. Um, so we pray for our president. You know, after all these attempts, that he is protected by the Most High God. Uh, we pray for his cabinet. We pray for uh, the, the light to shine. And we pray for the plan to go according to God's plan, which it will. And we just trust in the plan. But more importantly, we trust in God. It's his timing. We can't get all upset and wrapped up. If you're feeling the tension, spiritual tension, you know it's close. Satan is desperate. He's frantic. He knows it's about ready to pop. Um, but if you're feeling the frustration, that's not of God. That's not a spiritual attack. That's your own self. And a lot of times we've got to check self out and say, hey, it's not about me. It's about the glory of God. It's about his timing. We are servants. He is not. Watch Deutsche Bank for reset initiation. Wink. Yes. I'm pretty, I don't know if I told Don uh, in our secret talks. When Don comes over here on Fridays, we talk a little bit more. Uh, we, he just mentioned Deutsche Bank. <clears throat> I've mentioned, I've seen Deutsche Bank's second books. These, these, these people are wicked. They are wicked. They crash and say they're bankrupt. It's all, it's all it's all a rig job. I've, I've, we've got, we've seen your, your, your books. We've seen your books, Deutsche Bank. Um, no matter what they do, the exits are, 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 are blocked. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. We trust. We trust. Remember, this is the time that we want to be right with the Lord and let him lead us. We're servants. Servants never tell their commanders what to do. Kind of like this Lieutenant Colonel Vindman. You know, if he's a lieutenant colonel, which he supposedly is, uh, you don't leak, you don't lie, you have integrity, you don't question the commander-in-chief of the United States, you don't, rep uh, he, he said, um, he said, uh, he, he went around his boss to share some information. Well, if you're in the military, you know, you know, you know, you know that he's, he's, it's all about him. Military people, they go through the chain of command. You never break the chain of command. And as a lieutenant colonel, you certainly should know that. And lieutenant colonels, they don't make policy. Oh, my gosh. He, he looked like... I don't know how he got to be a lieutenant colonel. Uh, I guess if you play with a cabal and you do all the nice things that they want you to do, they'll promote you all the way up. You know, that's the way it is in corporate America, too. The more you play the game and follow their, 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 their lead and do whatever they want you to do and you know it's not right to do, you'll, you'll get promoted. You look at some of these people in corporate America and they go, how did you get to this level? How did you stay in this corporation for 30 years? You can't, you can't chew gum and walk. Well, you see why these companies all fall apart because they promote the ones that will do whatever they want to do. Oh, I'm glad I'm not in corporate America anymore. It took God to give me two near-death experiences to get me out of there. Um, we hope Chick-fil-A turns it around. All right, we have the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bless each and every one of you. Come back for the prayer at 7. What do we break today? We get to 76, 78. Uh, we got to get over 100. Tell your friends. Tell, your, tell, tell, tell the people that need to know the truth. The truth is the only thing that will set you free. Truth sets us free. And the truth is through the Most High God. God bless.